Problem number 14. This is a bit different from the previous one, but it is about calculation of beta and alpha only. The problem goes like this. Consider the daily sales price of Tata Auto and NSC index for the period 5th February to 16th February. Calculate beta value and the alpha value. That's all given in the problem. But you can see three columns are given. First column is date starting from 5th of uh, uh, February to 16th of February. But in between you don't have 10 and 12. It's like a holiday. So you have uh, been given their uh, 9 days information. So how 9 days comes I'll tell you. 10 days information is given. But when I calculate it, it is going to be 9. I will tell you how it is going to be. Next you have NSC index and data index. Don't assume it is returns. Please read in the problem very clearly given daily sales price. So please underline the sales price given in the problem. That means it is not returns. So what is the note here we have to remember is that price is given to be converted into returns then calculate beta most important one so if you don't read the theory given in the problem you may go wrong so you have to understand sales price is given returns is not given so what is the note? Price is given to be converted into returns, then calculate beta. The question comes now, when the price is given, how to convert that into returns? So I have a working number 1 here, calculation of return. So return is equal to, formula please remember, TP minus YP divided by YP. TP is nothing but today's price, YP is nothing but yesterday price, Divided by yesterday price multiplied by 100 returns should be always in percentage so we have to multiply by 100. So how to go for this? I have given an example of NSC 6th of February and for Tata Auto 6th of February. Why we cannot find for 5th of February? Question comes. 5th of February is today's price. but Yesterday price will be 4th of February which we don't have. So we cannot find for 5th of February. We can start finding from 6th of February. Because when we calculate for 6th of February, we have today's price as 6th. Yesterday's price will be 5th. Then we can continue further. So when you are calculating here, for the 5th of February, no returns will be given. So when you total this from 6 to 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, n is equal to 9, n is not 10 because we are not able to calculate for 5th of February because we don't have 4th of February data. So I will give an example of 6th of February how to calculate the return for NSC as well as uh, the Tata. So NSC will be x and uh, the Tata company will be Y. So market index is X and the company is Y. First one, for the NSC index, today's price of uh, this one, 845.75 minus 5th February, 904.95 divided by 904.95 multiplied by 100 so minus we have to do that minus value to be divided by this then into 100 minus 6.54 so minus 6.54 will be the value for 6 Similarly for Tata Auto also same, 5th we cannot uh, calculate, so 6th we can calculate, 6th day price is 
फाइव सेवेंटी पॉइंट एट जीरो प्रीवियस डे एस्टरडे इज फिफ्थ फेब्रुवरी फाइव नाइंटी सेवन पॉइंट एट जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव नाइंटी सेवन पॉइंट एट जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड यू गेट माइनस फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू सो हियर वाई वैल्यू माइनस फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू This returns we have to calculate for every day. Seventh will be today, sixth will be yesterday. Same we have to calculate like that. Next eighth, eighth will be today, seventh will be yesterday. Like that we have to calculate for every day till sixteenth. Sixteenth will be today, fifteenth will be yesterday. Like that we have to calculate and find the value of x and y. Then continue. So let me write the values of x. Three point three seven. Minus three point zero one zero point one four like that. Calculate slowly one by one. Use calculator or write and calculate. It may take some time. Next for y. Minus values, plus values will be there. One calculation goes wrong, entire problem will go wrong. So we have to be very, very careful, accurate in your working. So minus values and plus values, you have to be careful. Okay. Then let go for totaling the x column and the y column. We we'll go for x column and y column total. Add all the plus values. Then check with the minus value. X may be uh, well, sorry, minus may be more, plus may be more. You have to be very careful and total it. So in this, both minus values are more. Summation x is seven, minus seven point zero nine. Y is summation y is minus four point five seven. So both you are going to find minus is more, more than returns, loss is more for x as well as y. Then we have to go for x square, then x into y. So x square when you are doing minus into minus becomes plus, not an issue. So 6.54 into 6.54, 3.37 into 3.37 like that. So difficult to go for minimum two decimals we can take it. If it is third decimal is there, please adjust that to the second one and go ahead. If you have more decimals, then take four decimal values. Four decimal values. Otherwise, you may find more zeros only in that. So, to be more accurate, you have to be very very carefully doing it. So, here you can see. 0.0196. If you take 0.1, 96 will be going. That's to be 0.2. So like that, we have to be carefully working. So the, here also we have to add everything. Here minus is there. Here minus will not come because you are doing x square. Minus into minus becomes plus. Add all these values. 82.7 is the summation x square. Then we have to be again going for x into y. Here minus into minus again plus will come. Then if it is one minus, it is going to be one plus. It is going to be minus only. So we have to be very carefully working for it. So if I multiply, I am getting here twenty nine point five six seven point one eight like this. Remember, so more minus is there becomes plus. You have to be careful here. Minus 0.14 minus 0.94, so it becomes minus value minus 0.13. So you have to be more accurate, more focused when you are working. Here also same. You have many plus values and two minus values. You have to adjust. Plus is more, minus is less. 
the final value is 88.81 this is the summation x y so this may take more time for you to work but a lot of patience is required to work here i'll go for calculation of beta n is 9 i have explained earlier for the fifth we are not calculate anything so we started from 6 from 6 to 16 9 days 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so n is equal to 9 remember summation xy 88.81 summation x minus 7.09 minus 4.57 So here we have to be more careful. A lot of minuses are there. So you have to be more careful when you are working. Nine into eighty-eight point eight one seven ninety-nine point two nine. So here you have to be more careful. Minus into minus it becomes plus. So plus value will come there, and it is minus here. So minus value only minus. Thirty-two point four zero one. Then nine into eighty-two point seven. Seven forty-nine point. So divided by when you do nine into eighty-two point seven, seven forty-four point three minus. You have to see here. You have to be careful. Minus seven point zero nine whole square. So minus into minus becomes plus value. But here yeah, minus here. So plus into minus will be minus fifty point two six eight. So if you simplify further, seven ninety nine point two nine minus thirty two point four zero one seven sixty six point. Eight eight nine. When some decimals vary, don't worry. For uh, more accuracy, whatever you get, keep going on. Some decimals will not trouble you. Main values may trouble you. So finally, B value. That is a beta value is one point one zero. That is a plus value. So this is calculation of beta. Next is calculation of alpha. For calculation of alpha, you need one more working working number two x bar and y bar. So we have to go for this calculation. Minus seven point minus seven point zero nine. Divided by nine minus four point five seven divided by nine x is minus zero point seven eight seven y is minus zero point five zero seven. So we have to very carefully calculate the minus values, plus values. Here minus is there divided by plus it becomes minus value only. So these values substitute here. That's it. So again you have to be more careful here. So one is minus value. Then here you have to find. Minus into plus it is going to be minus only, so you have to be carefully calculating the values there. So we can calculate the value here and the substitute. So we have to be very careful here. 
when we have minus and plus value beta into x bar beta value is plus the x bar is minus so when you do minus into minus uh, so plus into minus it is minus minus into minus it is going to be plus so multiply carefully and put the value here again one minus one plus so plus is more so that is zero point three six so this is the alpha value if you are going for interpreting the alpha value so if alpha is positive it is profitable so if alpha is positive it is profitable to invest in the particular company share also if there is 1% increase in uh, market index then it is going to be 1.10 increase in the price of the particular stock so beta if you are going for it so this will tell us this will tell us that if there is 1% increase in market index then there is 1.10% increase in stock return so beta is going to tell us if it is positive more than one so it is going to be more profitable less than one it is not so profitable so because if one percent increase in market index the uh, stock price of particular company will increase by 1.1 percent so 0.1 percent profit there so this is how the beta is calculated to know whether to invest in a particular company or not so based on the average of several periods several days several months it is going to be calculated so this is the interpretation for alpha so this is the interpretation for the beta value so you have to be very careful when you are interpreting if you are given the problem to interpret this is the way to interpret and answer for alpha and beta